Good morning, you beautiful people. Happy bling bling Sunday. I um, I'm excited. I bought this new bluer jumpsuit, so I had to wear it. I found my necklace I made. So there we go. It was a good day yesterday. I was cleaning and I found my necklace. I'm like, I had to wear it today. So anyways, get yourself your fancy robe. Get on your bling bling outfit. Get dressed up, grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, muffin. And today we're gonna to go back to basics. I struggled so hard this week to try and find something to do that was different. I painted and it shifted, didn't turn out. I did it twice, didn't turn out. So today we're gonna to go back to basics. I am doing, what do they say? Go big or go home. I am doing three panels. These are 12 by 36. I'm doing two thin ones. And the center one is going to be gallery wrapped. So I'm excited. And I've done big ones before. I think I have a couple videos where I did my four foot by five foot one for my cousin. But, um, so I'm gonna try and hopefully I can get it all in. But we're gonna do this and we're gonna go back to, I don't think I've ever, ever done a black and white. So I'm gonna do a combination of, I think black, white, and silver. Hmm. Unless I don't have enough paint in that colors. But that's my plan, Stan. And hopefully we can, oh, I gotta move these so I don't drop them. So yeah, I went out the other day. We're now in lockdown again. And I needed to get a couple things and we're in literal lockdown. <laughs> You can't buy anything that's not food, which is crazy, which is fine. I get it. But I uh, was hoping I could go down the craft aisle at the dollar store. It didn't work out. So anyways, yes. So we're going to go back to basics. My original. I have uh, my video for this one is gone crazy. Not this one particular, but my original teal video, I think is video 71 or craziness. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to get into my working clothes, but you stay in your fancy stuff and, um, sit down, have a coffee and I'll be right back. Why, hello, I am all prepped. I have, oh, never been so, I'm, I don't know why I'm nervous about doing this one today. I'm at the other end of my table. Um, so all of my workings <laughs> are all weird for me and I've got my canvases prepped. So they're just taped and the, these ones on the ends are not gallery wrapped. I'm doing it. So they're going to be three dimensional when you have them on the wall. So I put push pins in these ones just to bring them up to the same level. Now you can see. Now my gallery wrapped one is below. I'm content with that. That's fine. But I just wanted to show you that so you weren't confused at what I was doing. So my center one is one of my dollar store canvases that I got in the summertime, multi-craft. Um, it is a 12 by 36 inch. And then my two end ones are Michael's brand, Artist Loft level ones, these are 12 by 36 as well, but they are not gallery wrapped. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I wanna try something different. My bling, my bling bling, like I said, that one video, I'm pretty sure that's what got me where I am today because it has, like I said, 700 and some odd thousand views. So I just thought, well, I would, cause I was so, I didn't know what to do today. So I thought I'm just gonna go right back to where I started with these. Um, normally they were spray painted, but these ones I'm gonna paint. And I don't wanna go, normally I do straight across. I wanna do something different, I said. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do, start my line here and kind of come like this, down like this, and then down like this. But I wanna keep the same distance and I'm still gonna jagged it like I did on my other ones. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get all technical and all, we're gonna use my 
popsicle stick. And I'm going to mark a line here. This is all going to get covered. I'm going to get my popsicle stick. I'm going to come to the top corner and do the same thing. It is kind of neat. I can get all the way around the table doing my, <laughs> my work at this end of the table. So, alrighty, let me just get my line drawn here and then we will go through all of my stuff I got going on here. All right. Oh, nervous and where's my brain going today? Okay, so we're gonna go. And it doesn't have to be 100% what I'm doing here. So we're gonna come down like that. We're gonna come down like that. And then we're gonna meet like that and like that. So, done with that. So on the bottom half or the top half, you can flip it either way. My thoughts are, I've done black on the bottom and incorporated some silver in it and then did silver just completely on the top. But my thoughts I would love to do today, we have black and silver and white. I'm going to combine the white and the black are going to be the base coats and the silver is going to be on both. So I'll let you see what I got. I ran out of my when I did all of my Dutch pour paints, I, I mixed up a big batch of the white and I ran out of my, so I have acrylic flow, black. That's what is there. I have the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Silver. That's what's here. And this one's from Walmart, because again, like I said, I would have used the Artist Loft, but I had run out. This is Dollar Rowney. Uh, and it's white. Yeah, white. And I'm going to mix my Liquid X blending medium in it. I'm sorry, you might be a little dark. I'm, I've tried to mate shift here. I got my lights on you, so I'm, I'm hoping it works, guys. So I'm going to mix some of this and all of them with the other hand. And you see how much that is? You'll see it better on the black. There. And then I'm gonna just stir it in. I got three stir sticks. I'm just gonna move this up the way. Like I said, I don't know why I'm nervous today. Excited to try this again. Oh my goodness, and I found another can of that spray paint. Oh, that teal that everybody had a hard time. All right, and I haven't heard from all my winners yet, so I'm hopefully, I'm gonna go, when I'm done this, I'm gonna go back down and um, I'm gonna go through all my stuff because I would prefer you to email me but um, somebody Facebooked me, so I did get one that way, but it would be nice if you could email me with the email that I sent. So, all right, we're gonna do one half first. So, where am I gonna start? All right, we'll do the white and silver first. And I'm gonna do it down here. And then, yeah, we'll come up and do the, so we want white to be the base. So let's just, I don't know how I'm gonna do this here. I'm using my nice big, this is my, um, I use this in quite a few videos. It is my Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo R795 Firm from Michaels. It's like a $20 brush, but it to me is worth every penny. I'm just gonna just do a quick little base here. 
up to that line. And then we're going to streak in some silver. And I'm going to do my sides as I'm going. I'm sipping my coffee. I'm all, I'm nervous now. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm nervous for some reason. All right, so we're gonna do the white on the edge here. Oh, it's been so beautiful here. I've been <gasps> cleaning. I clean, but I'm not, oh, I'd rather be painting than cleaning, which I'm pretty sure most of my followers are the same. And I, um, we have an old gazebo that, oh, when my hubby had a stroke, we put up this gazebo at home because the um, military is amazing. For us, they were amazing after he had a stroke. And they redid quite a bit of our house because he was in a wheelchair at the time. And they put up this, they turned my kitchen um, uh, window my dining window into French doors. And cause it, we only had one exit he could get out. So they did that. And between them and us, we put a deck up, a huge deck. So we put up this, long story short, we put up this huge gazebo and I'm just now, and then this was before our trailer. So now we've got the trailer. So we're really not at home. And I couldn't justify spending money again for another awning top and it's like oh my goodness so we just never put it up for the last three years I don't think but the structure was if you drove by my house it went from magazine worthy to like oh my goodness do they live there still so we I opted I'm like I'm done with this so I went out and I on the ladder and I took it apart and my son come out and my husband come out and help hold stuff up for me and we got it done. So that's what I've been doing the last couple days. And then of course that happens. So then you're into the spring cleaning because it's been so nice. All right, I'm just gonna, wanna definitely get this line. And like I said, I am not too worried if the line still shows because that's where we're gonna put our liquid glass to do our thing. there we go so that is that basic white covered now I'm gonna come in with this brush I have just it's from Michaels or Walmart sorry there was a three pack thing and I'm just gonna come in and do this because I just want to streak it and then I'll blend it. Because I don't want it to be totally white. Now let's see if I can do this right. Without goofing it up, let's start at the bottom. curve is making it weird, but we're going to get it perfect without the clumps of paint. And like I said, this line is just a, a follow, a follow me line. I don't know, that silver's got a lot of lumps in it. You see them all. What the heck? Why is there?
That is crazy. Why is there so many lumps in that? Um, let me just grab my tweezers. Which is weird. It's way on the other side of the room. Oh my goodness. I have all these tweezers and they all have resin on them. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to do this. The tweezers aren't working. That is weird. My silver paint has all these lumps in it. Whoops. I'm going to grab another brush. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. And I'm just going to bring it down so I can, yeah, without the lumps. hope y'all like y'all listen to me sound like I'm from down south which there's nothing wrong with that but <laughs> I just come out like y'all I hope you like the uh, um, Friday's video I, I quite enjoyed that, that little feather um, tray is cute I love that mold Now the only thing is, this one is not on anything, so we'll have to pick it up to do the, and like I said, that line is just an estimation, guys. I'm going to move this guy just a tad. It might be out of your way, but we're done with that for a sec. I just want to get this, make sure I get the paint covered. I'm going to over here. Whoops, I'm going to pick it up to do the edging. So I want to make sure, especially this big guy, because he's going to have a standing out from the other ones on the wall, right? I love using the different depths together. It gives it a whole different look than just all three slapped on a, a wall. I'm almost tempted to color some black um, glass. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then do the other half because I don't want it to mix. So to speak, perfect. Now, let's get this lumpy, I don't know what's with the lumpy. It's weird. But it worked in the end. I'll just um, do it with the other brush after I have it blended in. Oh, I shouldn't be mixing that in there. Well, I got too much paint, oh my goodness. Oh, and this is the one I was blending with. Oh, I got white in it. All right, here we go. That's a big lump of white. Oh my goodness. I gotta find somewhere to put it. <laughs> uh, paper towel. funny because all my stuff is usually right where I can get at it, but not today.
there we go. I got a lump here and a lump there. This is craziness. Okay, and I'm going to use the other one to just even out that. I'm just going to run my finger along the edge. Oh, not that finger. Oh, that thumb is just craziness. There we go. And then I'm just going to do a quick I just want to make sure the ends are white. Sides, I don't care. Okay, now we're going to do this side. I think this is going to be pretty. I like the idea of it being off. A little off. It's just like me. I'm, all, I'm a little off. I'm a unique individual, is what I keep telling my husband anyway. Oh, and I can show you on the list yesterday, we brewed, he's been wanting to do, he bought a kit to do apple cider, spiced apple cider, so we did that yesterday, and that was fun. And I don't drink, and he really don't drink, <laughs> so I, we'll see. I find I don't drink. Well, I do, I, the odd drink, but I'm finding now with me doing the, the low carb stuff, I don't really, and I've never been one to get drink so you, you don't know what you're doing. I was always the one that did the kids stuff the next day, so it was like, uh, nope. All right, just getting the edge here and this edge. That's why I figured I would wait because it might get muddy on my lines and I don't want that to happen, so. Perfect. All right, so we got the white. Now let's get this gray. Ooh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do this. Put it all in my hand. I don't know why I didn't do this to start with. And then that way there wasn't so much and I didn't. Probably would have been easier to squirt it on, but I wanted to mix the blending medium in it. And you can't do that with squirting it on. So there we go. All right, let's get this. look the same. All right, now let's get all of that. I don't know. A lot of lumps in that silver. Haven't used it in a long time, so and then we'll get this other one here. One big lump there. Oh my goodness, Sherry.
really, wow. Here we go. Okay. Done did them. Dumb did them. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I said that. Not too worried because like I said, I'm going to come wide with my glitter. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to fix this one little bit down here because it's me. And I think we're good. So I'm going to leave it at that, let it dry, and then we'll come back with the black and the silver. All right. So with that being said, my beauts, people, I'm going to rinse out my brushes and get ready for some black. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, we are back. It is still a little damp, but I thought it would be good enough to paint. And i am come down and I flipped it around so I could paint. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you could legitimately, look at this. I'm impressed because I think this would be cool actually. You could legitimately hang it this way as well. Oh my goodness. That's actually kind of cool. So you could hang the center opposite. Like I said, I'm always in the odd dock. I like to do things differently. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do our painting. So I've got the silver here that I'm not happy with. It has all this lumps. I'm tempted to actually let me grab my container. Let's see if it has, it still has lumps if I, yep. Why would it have lumps? Mm. Let me see. I don't see lumps there. Let me put some more of this in it and then we'll try, we'll try this one instead. Put some of the medium on. has it too oh my goodness oh well I guess it is what it is guys we'll set that there okay I'm going to start with the black and here we go let's give it a mix it's been sitting while we were waiting and I'm gonna do the same I think we're just gonna Base coat it and then streak in some of that silver. And I hope it streaks in, all right? You don't have to go crazy. Like I said, we're going to come wide with... I would rather leave a gap than go over it. Because we're going to come back with our... Um, glass and glitter, the best part. There we go. Now I'm going to get the sides. Whoops. Paper towel out of the way. I'm not used to working on this end. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see if we can. Like that 
as even as we can. those little creases. There we go. And let's get this side. I want to make sure I get even where it's... There we go. And the big one, I'm thinking I'm going to put bling on the middle, on the edging. I never, I normally do not put any bling on the sides. And I think that's what I'm going to do on the edge of the big one. Because you're going to see it. And I think it would be a cool effect. There we go. All right. Oh, silly. I'm going to bring it back down to where you can see me. I'm hoping I, I drew lines so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Hopefully this works again. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one. I guess it don't matter because I'm just using... I'm just going to save it. enough. No. We're going to use the big brush. Again, same tools. And there's the chunk. My goodness. Blend it in. Like I said, the only thing I would be concerned here would be to make sure it, your lines like this are straight. about the only one there so I'm just going to use this other brush and brush it this way and make sure they're straight. And I'm just wondering if I got enough of the silver. I may put some more in there. All right, put those over there and we'll do the center one. I have enough black, that's for sure. Oh no. Oh, I 
pay attention. I may have to strategically place some glitter. I forgot I was using black, not paying attention. Lift it up to get the edges. Paint on, and then I'm going to get the other side. <laughs> I got to lift it up. There we go. Okay. Clean edge there. Okay. I know you're not seeing this. I'm sorry, guys, but. Maybe I can touch that up after. I don't want to play with it now because I'll end up really goofing it up. I'm so afraid to put that silver on here. All right. I'm going to take this, what I have on this one, and bring it down here because it needs a little more on this one. Now that I'm looking at that one. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to fix that up here. This little guy. Shoot. Remember, go straight. Alrighty. One more to go. I'm excited. Alrighty. So we're over here.
heavily put it here and try and do the edging. sides and then we're done this almost done there we go and a little more and I will do the side out of the way let's start down here get a nice crisp edge if you can there we go and make sure you get in on the corners where canvas meets so you don't have any bare spots. There we go. Done with that. Now the gray again. Just try and get there. The streaks weren't going up far enough. There we go. Perfect. Just lightly push it down. And that one has nothing in it. Oh my goodness. I lied. There's one. Okay. So with that, we are done this. I think this looks beautiful. And I'm going to let it dry and we will come back and do the glass and glitter. And I will have to do a little bit here and there's one spot up there because I got overzealous with my painting. So with that, my beautiful people, I'm going to let you go, let it dry. And we'll come back and we'll bling it up. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. We are all dry. I'm excited. I'm just on the side so I can show you what we're using. I am using, to adhere my broken glass and glitter, I am using Triart liquid glass, which I use all the time. I'll link it in the description box. And that's in my squeeze bottle. I am choosing to use Ashland decorative filler, which is the broken glass from, um, 
wall or sorry the broken glass from Michaels I have it in two containers so it's the same thing I just brought them out in case I run out I am using Martha Stewart's um, confetti glitter silver I don't know it looks dark guys I, I apologize it's just this is so big it's hard to to get into where you can see I am also using um, recollections this one is chunky and it's onyx it's like a black and silver and then I have Martha Stewart's um, this one is onyx and this one is Hemonite. So I might use them, I might not, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put it all down on this side. I'm just not used to working this way. I think this turned out actually pretty cool. So I'm loving the color. And like I said, this center one would be actually quite cool. You could do it this way and it still follows the line. Like, is that not cool? So you could choose to do it either way. I think it's kind of neat. All right, flip it back so I can do it all. There we go. Whoops, better pay attention. Edges are a little wet still. All right, perfect. All right. So we're gonna get to business. I'm gonna put my liquid glass down. Open up my container. And we're just gonna go from here. Hopefully I can do this with my hand, guys. Get it widened. Oh, I gotta do it with my left hand. I want it to start off. There. And try not this these two, I don't want it to go on the edge. Over the edge. Alright, we're gonna try and bring that down there. And even though my line goes curved, I'm still trying to do straight up and down. even like that. I want to make sure that I have definite zigzags, so I'm going to go down to the center one. And do the same thing. All right.
again, remember, go straight. Don't follow that curve. You want it to be straight up and down. Put some big ones up there. Put some big ones down here. Just to give it... good now we'll come to this one I'm trying to think so I've got some both on the long parts okay here we go last piece see and we're covering up all that imperfection painting that we did prepared and I have more. Woohoo! I'm just gonna fill up this little bottle here really quick. And this stuff is amazing. You can mix this stuff up with colors and leave it forever. Um, the only way it cures, <coughs> sorry, the only way it cures is if it is left to air, which is kind of cool. I didn't go crazy. I just put enough in there so that I can do this little bit here and then we can carry on. Oops, there we go. I just want to get that glitter off there. All right, here we go. And again, I'm just trying to stay straight to my canvas. I'm not, don't want to follow that curve. Trying to do a little bit of a wider line. And this is the time where if you had any little imperfections, you could accidentally put a little bit down where you might have made a mistake. I said nothing is in stone with abstract. It's just you have fun with it. is perfect. All right, I'll just get a little more up this way. Maybe a little down here. There. Just want to widen that. I think we're good. We're good. I just want to make sure my line is covered. All right, here we go. I might as well use up what's left in this um, container. Heavy down the line. Oh my God. it's such a contrasting color you want to make sure that that line is covered whether it be with the glass or whether it be with glitter I'm just gonna come through and make sure the line is covered and then we work that way out Ew! what is that I have a piece of that's nice. Dirt. That's weird.
I am so excited. This, I would actually put more holes in my wall for this. This actually, I think, is going to be pretty. All right. Empty container. And actually, what did I, I didn't even show it. I have um, this Recollections. It is crushed, actual crushed glass. I'm going to put a little bit of that on as well. Oh, well, that's not open. Uh, my finger's working, I tell you guys. There we go. This is actual glass, so I'm going to... Well, actually, the other one is actual glass as well. I get told it's not, but it is. It is broken glass. Because when you cut yourself, use glass. All right. I want to leave room for the glitter as well. Good. Now I might come back with some more glass just on the upper part and the lower parts because I kind of went heavy. I just want it to, it's not all going to adhere, but I'd like some chunkier pieces on the, on the wispy parts. Oh, this looks just... I'm looking at it in the monitor and it's like, it looks cool. I was going to do a balloon smash, but I can't buy balloons. Too funny. Good, and then we're gonna do um, a little bit of Martha. We're gonna try to do silver on the bottom and maybe black on the top. We'll see if I can. even hard just to rub my thumbs together to, oh my goodness sorry I am oh I gotta quit so now I'm gonna put a little bit of Martha on the top and then we'll come back with the opulence or the onyx I should say there we go I go upstairs and there is glitter everywhere. The husband doesn't like me sitting in his chair because there's glitter everywhere. Okay, here we go. Oh, this one I have to do the same. I'm just throwing it all on there. If it sticks, it don't. If it does, more power. 
because you don't want any of that um, liquid glass to be showing because it will just be blank shiny spots so it, you do want it covered where you can see my little wispies have some blank spots. Woo! And then I'll come back with some fine of... <laughs> do I use the opulence or do I use the... Mm, we'll use the onyx. And I'll put this all over. Okay, here we go. I couldn't see it coming out. It's hard to see, guys. I know this is going to be totally covered. We'll have a lot of shake off. I can put it in that tub. I can't even see it going up. Here we go. Oh, that's because it's empty. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, I don't even have any black fine. I'm using opulence. This is the Hemonite, which is more or less, it's like a gray, a gray black. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully it doesn't. It's got like a blue hue to it. I just go over everything with it. I can't believe I've... There, I think that's that. Let me just go dig in my corner here for a minute, guys, and see if I have more black, just straight black. I don't think I do. Oh, I do, in my dollar store glitters, okay. I have this and there's, sorry, there's a black one there. So I'm going to open that up just because I want, I want to make sure I would rather have too much than go through all of this and parts of it not be covered. All right. Ah! Then I throw it on the floor. Alrighty, so I've already done this one with the black. I'm going to come onto this one. Okay, here we go. Up high. I know you're all going, there's a lot of, that's a lot, that's a lot. But go big or go home, my friends. That's my theory anymore. Here we go. Let's try. Let's see if we can get this. Oh my goodness. Put it in my hand and I'm going to shake it out this way. And it still comes up in clumps. Oh my goodness. And it's not what I want it to be. I'm going to put a little bit of silver on that. <laughs> There's always more. I'm just going to put a little bit here. Just if it, if it picks it up, it picks it up. All right. I'm not. I'm backing away from the glitter. Step away from the glitter. All right. So with that being said, my wonderful people, I'm going to leave this sit. This is the one thing I love, love, love about using the, um, the liquid glass. It is dry usually within about three or four hours, so I don't have to wait as long as I would if I was using the resin, which I used to use. So you can use resin. That's an option. And you can also use the Mod Podge. I've never had success with the Mod Podge, but a lot of people do. So yeah, if you don't want to use this liquid glass or if you cannot get the liquid glass, 
yeah, give it a shot with the other two. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I will see you guys in a few hours. Bye. I turned my studio lights out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but oh my goodness, it's sparkly. Okay, with that being said, I'll see you when it's dry. Bye, guys. Hello, we are back. I'm excited. I think it turned out nice. So I have a puppy pad upside down. Hopefully you can see this. And we are going to shake, my friends. We're going to shake. So, try and do this. Start down here and shake it all in. I'm excited. This is going to be beautiful. down. That looks gorgeous. Now I'm just going to set it aside for one second. Oh, I'm happy. That looks amazing. And I'm going to do this one. I'm going to try and flip the paper over. There we go. Because we got to save all this goodness, guys. I'm impressed. All right, we're gonna set that one over here as well. And that's a lot, but like I said, I like to reuse mine. I don't throw it all out. So here we go.
brush off those little bits up there. Now you can also um, use a vacuum cleaner if you wanted to. If you weren't worried about saving your stuff. I just want to give it a tap because it does shake off quite a bit. There you go. Number three. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just move this. I'm going to try. All right. Woo. I'm just going to fold this up. I've probably mentioned before, I find little, <laughs> when I clean up, I find a lot of these little things folded up that has glitter in it. All right, I'm going to remove these pegs off so you can see what it will look like with, oh my goodness, that hand. All right, so, ay, ay, ay. I just stabbed myself with that. Okay, so we'll go to this end, flip it around. You can see it, you can see it. Okay. So when it's on the wall, it'll have that depth in the middle one. This turned out amazing. I love this one actually. And here we go. Oh, that is gorgeous. And I think you can do it this way as well. I hear you, Hensley. Because it just worked out that the way it uh, it lays, you can flip that center one. I'm impressed. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna take it upstairs and I'm gonna put it on the wall and I'll give you a little show upstairs. I'm excited. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, why haven't you? Give it a subscription. Hit that bell for notifications. And I have in my description box, I have my PayPal link. I have my um, Facebook page, I have my Amazon shops, and I have a link to Laura's Art Corner. Um, if you want a discount, use my discount code, uh, Sherry Moulton, all capital letters, 10%, and you'll get 10% off of your whole entire order from Laura's Art Corner. And that's about it. So I'm going to put you in pause, I'm going to take you upstairs, and I'll give you a show on the wall. So with that, I will see you guys in just a couple minutes. There you go, got it on the wall. It is gorgeous. Now, I had to lean it on my hutch because my hooks were not right. So they're not set up even. So they're not even on the top. But look at that. I don't know if you can see that glitter. That is amazing. There you go, guys. I just thought I'd let you see it sort of on the wall. I am happy. I like that one. There you go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday. If I can hit the button.